Well, I was going to go through my reel-to-reel -reel tape collection. I don't have very many. I wouldn't call it a collection so much as what I've acquired. And I thought I would share what I have while I kind of look for myself as well. Because I know there's people who like that stuff. This is my Akai X150D with my nice Akai reel on there. Right now I'm listening to Miles Davis' Bitches Brew, and before I knew better, I recorded over part of it with, uh, <laughs> with uh, some of my old band recordings. But that's okay. No big deal. Um, really, it's just about the nostalgia. Now I've acquired these from various places, basements, and whatnot. But it all started with this one. My father left this when he passed away when I was 15, about 1992. This was among his things. It's an Ampex 311 recording tape. And on the side it says AFVN. Now this was the Vietnam, the American Vietnam uh, channel in Vietnam where they would play radio. And uh, it's pretty, it's a pretty interesting tape. It's got the top 20 plus female and male group, 1955 to 1968 from AFVN Radio. And my father wrote these all down and I think he recorded them when he was over there. It's got Elvis, Beatles, Ray Charles Platters, uh, Temptations, Four Seasons, Penguins, Animals, Tokens, uh, Door, The Doors, Rolling Stones, Can't Get No Satisfaction. Basically, this album was re all the songs that you might associate with Vietnam from the, the movies. And uh, it, I'm really grateful to have it because it's an original copy from the 70s, I think 1970. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool to have. Um, the next one in line, because I'm not sure what half these are, some of them I acquired. Here we go. Sounds like Alb er Herb Albert in the Tijuana Brass. Now, uh, these were released. A lot of people think that maybe these, you know, reel-to-reels were just blank tapes, but no, they were real issues, and you can still get a hold of them. And um, this is an Ampex. It's got some... looks like it's got a broken-off bottom here, but that's okay. I guess there's no real bottom, but... Um, each tape is to the length it needs to be for what it's playing, obviously. And then I've got blank reels. Uh, what else have I got here? Now here's where it gets kind of interesting. This right here, which I just noticed when I pulled the box out, doesn't have a box for it of its own. If you look on it, all it says is Kennedy. Now I listened to this a while back to see what it was. Apparently my wife's parents, uh, her dad was a sound guy, he recorded this live on the air uh, while the Kennedy assassination and the funeral were going on and uh, I think this one as well if I'm not mistaken yeah this one says Kennedy side one and you know this tape obviously it's nothing you can't probably already find in the archive but what can I say about something being recorded at the time of the event and back then there weren't any options the next one is a scotch recording tape 140 wow that's heavy okay this one says good jazz on it um, and I, I, I would mark my reels where stuff stopped and ended um, I got into reel to reel much later than other people I mean I had a record player as a kid but not a reel to reel so all the rest of these, my old band, CDs, stuff like that. Then we go up to the next reel to reels. What do we got in these ones? Here's an old vintage projector reel. This one won't even work with that. This is for an 8mm projector, I believe. Um, then we've got short ones like this, which have no markings. I have no idea what's on that. Uh, <laughs> this one says M12-2011. Emerson is my... my uh, middle son and yeah he was about three years old then has something else on the side it says i can't read it roger miller water home blank i don't know 
That's kind of cool, you know, back in the day, people would just record whatever they wanted off the radio or anything else, and being able to put it on the tape was a novelty. The next one we've got is Baja Marimba Band, Rides Again. And, uh, yeah, that one looks like it's in pretty decent shape. It's got two different albums, the regular one, then they ride again. And this next one is The Brothers Four. I've never really looked at these. This one's all taped and taken care of well. Available on two track and four track stereo tape. All right, the next one we've got here is Banjo's Back in Town. The Banjo Barons, 36 all-time banjo favorites. And that as well as another uh, Columbia type tape which they were unique. What do we got here? Is this a booklet? The Banjo Barons. The new national craze for the banjo began in the so-called banjo bars. Oh god, I should read that sometime. If anybody wants me to do another one of these, let me know. And I'll... Okay, this is just a catalog with all their stuff. Yeah, that's cool though. They have it. This one has <laughs> somebody back in the 70s and 80s we used to get these little like raised letters. This is how label makers work. I'm sure you've all seen them before, but it looks like there's nothing in this one, so I think what I'm going to do is go back here and preserve that Kennedy tape in this one, just to be safe. Um, here's another Ampex. These are heavy duty, man. They're fatties. <clears throat> oh, here we go. Look at this. What is this? A TV event for opera fans. Weird. So I'm guessing this is a recording of the opera? Don't know. I haven't checked that out yet. What else have we got here? 1200A acetate, $3.50. And this one says Kennedy Death. So that's the other one. So I guess apparently there's three tapes of the Kennedy incident. Look at that. Death of Kennedy, 1122 doesn't show. I think it was 63, wasn't it? If I'm not mistaken. Could be wrong. Then the next one is the Herb Alpert Tijuana Brass again. Another Ampex. Looks like it's in really good shape. And then the very final one is Jonah Jones and Glenn Gray. Interesting. Alright. says Otto. That was my wife's maiden name. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Four pack. Anyway, you know what was interesting about these is that these could be played so many different ways. People don't really, this is an X uh, cross, it has a cross field thing, so you can change it between channels. There's three different settings for it, but they all work differently. At any rate, I think I've covered what I wanted to cover. Don't want to get any copyright issues. I just really like these things, and uh, I wanted to share the tapes that I do have. So, uh, have a wonderful day. If you like vintage stereo stuff, I've got other videos like that as well. And uh, maybe one day I'll share turntables and all that fun stuff. <clears throat> Peace out, peoples.